Howdy y'all, this is Nick, back with uh, another ranch video. This is going to be day one of getting the trailer ready to become a rental. First thing we are doing is the electrical electric panel. Putting in a new panel. And we got we just found out we got to put in a ground rod to put in a panel. So... We got some rain and we got some tornadoes, I guess. It just ripped this tree right out of the ground and it ripped all the sheet metal off that porch. Well, not all of it, but some of it. So yeah, and this is the extent of the damage. Kind of slow, but it's going down there easier than we uh, thought. I guess we're getting to that part. We got it like halfway in the ground. Slowly and painful getting the rest of the ground rod in. Looks easy and then it gets kind of a pain in the ass. Well, if you held it, just keep it steady. I haven't missed, right? No. All right, I got to hold the ground rod. Let's see. Yeah, right. We can hold it from lower. There. Stalling out, isn't it? No, it's it's going down. Maybe 
Basically, we got a home line 20 space, 40 circuit, 100 amp quick grip panel. And if you don't know what quick grip is, it's uh, those plastic things that go along the edges to help organize the wires better. And this is going to keep the lights better. On. Yeah. This is definitely going to be an upgrade for this trailer because we're dealing with two six space panels and we're maxed out. And this is going to give us 20. And it's an indoor, so that means it's got the flush mount cover on it. And it's also home light. Uh, the main breaker panel that we installed over at the meter is a home line panel. So these panels that are currently in the trailer are QO and it's going to help because it's going to make everything the same. So if you get home line breakers, they're going to fit both panels. No problem. This is also a value pack. It's got a it's got 130 home line breaker, 30 amp breaker, and it's got two 20 amp breakers and we got the rest of them but this is what they talk about, these quick grips up here, and then the panel goes over and fits nicely. You know, it's worth the extra uh, 20 bucks. You know, this was like 129 bucks. So, yeah, we're going to get, in a minute, we're going to get tearing the old panels out and getting the new panel hung up and then getting all the circuits organized. All right. So making some progress on this grounding rod. So it's definitely going to be well grounded. And yeah, you have to do this. You can't trim it. It's got to be eight foot in the ground. Yeah, it's a good thing we found out about this because our other panels are not grounded properly with a grounding rod. They're overloaded. And it's going to be a good time to reorganize all the circuits because we've got some wires sticking out of the kitchen. Don't know what they were for, but they need to get removed. Okay. Yeah, all right. I can see. You can see that? Yeah. All these weeds out in the way? I think I can see it. Sure. Yeah. Wow, oh, Nick. You must have hit China. in the rest of the way. So that's how you put a ground rod in. Now we're on to step two of the teardown. Gotta get all these
panels disconnected and ripped out of the wall. So I get that panel off, I'm going to take a break here. Good. Now we got this all cleaned up. Some extra grounding screw crap we forgot.
Where's your other two screws? They're over in that old box that I just took off the second one. I left them in there. What, are they not there? Mounting time. So can you get a screw right in? Put them across, oh, right? Put one in there. It's straight in there for. Yeah, we to get out of the way first before you step on. It's a little tiny bit crooked, but it works. All right, so we're back, and we got the panel mounted. But one thing that we made an oopsie on, we didn't realize, is, is that the, the grounds and the neutrals have to be separate. And with this setup, this uh, main breaker setup, these are two neutral bars, basically. The, you know, they're, not, they're not two separate things. So what we have to do is get additional uh, ground bars to put on the case so that we have stuff to ground to and I'm going to go ahead and show you all how the ground bar is installed. It's just always those one thing you forgot and you run to the store at the last minute and fortunately they have it. You're able to get it. Now these the ground bar I have is kind of overkill to 23. That's like the biggest size I could get there, but they didn't have 15s. So we just went with uh, the biggest they had so that we didn't get screwed on anything. All right, so there's these nubs here on the case, and they have these special threaded holes. And you just got to line up the nubs and the hole. Goes just like that, and then at the same time, you gotta. Can you lower that here. one down so it doesn't cover the wiring? Um, not sure. Is not that... sure. No. Okay. No, you can. You can. It doesn't look like it. Okay. No, it is. It's not. Yeah, unfortunately. It's So I forgot to mention that, for those who don't know, breaker boxes, uh, this is made by a company called Square D, and they have two types, they have QO and they have home line. And I believe QO is their older uh, system of uh, breakers, and they're slowly phasing that out. So made sure to get home line because there's more options and surprisingly I read that home line is more expensive. But that wasn't the case for me. QO was actually more expensive to get a bigger panel to save some breakers but uh, they sell you know the value pack so we have to knock out the bottom to get the feeder in. Yep. So we got, that's how you install a grounding bar. And the next thing we got to do is knock out this bottom piece so we can run our main wire up here. You know, and get our neutral and our phases all together and 
that's the next thing we're going to do and then we'll be hooking up the ground rod and then we'll get into all the circuits. All right, so we're on day two of trailer electrical. I got the first breaker in, first circuit done. This is for the living room. I'm going to show you all how we test this without a fancy uh, little wand to kind of tell you which circuit's which. We just got a good old multimeter here. All right, so we just switched to another plug. Open? It's still open. Okay. Now? Still open. Now? Still open. Now? Nothing. No. Nothing. Hmm. There's not many choices that we have here. So nothing there. Nothing. Yeah. Okay. Unless well, those multimeters. Yeah, piece well, of it shit. just worked. So I, I mean, all I have is these. Nothing. Oh, there we go. All right. All right. All right. So he has the next circuit here that we just found with this multimeter technique. It can be flaky, but it works. All right, putting in a breaker. We're putting the little ones on top. We're putting the big ones on the bottom. Or at least we're trying to, but with the way these wires are measured. Make sure your breakers are in place fully. Together, side by side. I just just put them. I just where, put them where the breaker is. All right. Where the breaker is. Closest one to the next one. Right now. Okay, let's put it there. That should be loose.
Great fun. Um, I don't know. Is that breaker designed for one or two? Uh, it's designed for two. I think there's two little spaces on it. I'll just keep putting the grounds together. So the way, the location, Nick, what? where you located that breaker, is that where you want it? Because this is like the third circuit, you know, from there. All right, so now we're gonna be um, working on how to get around this GFI because supposedly these GFIs are blocking the circuit. So you have to basically pull it out of the wall and get to the actual exposed wires. So for this uh, circuit test, so it's open right now. Okay, how about now? Still open. And let's see. Now? Uh, open. Now? Open. Now? Open. Now? Oh, uh, not open. Alright. I've got done. So this is it. It's open now? Yep. And closed now? Yep. And, oops, closed now? Yep. Alright. I got it. I think, hold on. Wires are wrapped around each other. Okay. So just want to confirm this again. Open? Yeah, it's still open. Close. Oh, this closed now. Alright. So I've got the cable. Okay. So that's how you do the test. Uh, GFI. We got most of the breakers in and now we're going to go ahead and test. We're missing two breakers. Apparently we miscalculated how many circuits we had. We got one unknown circuit and we got one bedroom circuit. So we're going to go ahead and test this. No sparks. Still no sparks. Okay. Uh, you, can test everything you can come. Um, all right, hold on. I'll put the main breaker on. Mains on. No sparks. So let's see. I'll put it on the living room and test the light. You still there? Uh oh. Okay, there it is. You can switch it, but not where I want it. Not where I expect it. So the kitchen fans come on. Kitchen lights on. Things are looking good. Alright, so now I'm going for the uh, kitchen. So the fridge, I think I just heard the fridge turn on. Alright, I'm, now I'm putting on the, uh, let's see, I guess the office. And the office fan and the light turn on. Okay. And then the next one's the stove. Stove's on. Stove's uh, circuit breaker is on, and the stove clock is on.
Yeah. All right, so now the bathroom. And check in the bathroom fan. Bathroom fan works. And your bedroom doesn't have one. And the water heater we're leaving off. But I'll, I'm gonna just I'm gonna put the water heater on just for a second to make sure it doesn't trip. All right, it didn't trip. So everything's working. Control it from here, right? Yeah. So go ahead and test that real quick. Test what? What the, the main of the uh, trail? Okay. Everything's off? Yeah. Okay, good. So well, look at this. We got we got power, we got a running stove, everything's working right. We figured out our Wait, this light, what's going on here? Uh, we, we got a problem. Am I missing a mouse? You said this wasn't working, right? Oh, it's working now, huh? Uh-oh. So we still got a mysterious did circuit. Did it just turn on? Yeah, I just touched it and it just... That's hilarious. We got a mysterious circuit that we still can't figure out yet. We thought it was this light above the sink, but this sink light just proved us wrong, so. I still gotta figure out what the hell that is. We got this here. And I didn't test the GFI for the bathroom. Oh, it is? Press that button. Oh. Okay. Oh, well, there's your uh, GFI test. Then you turn it off. And you turn it on. Oh, the fan's working again. You can hear that. Yeah. So we're only missing one breaker. So bedroom. And... I don't know about this mysterious ass circuit. We still don't know what the heck that is. Um, probably should just get two breakers just in case. Uh, yeah, we'll be back in a bit here with pretty much completed panel we're not going to cover it up just yet because we're going to be moving into phase two which is the flooring in this trailer all right so we got that final breaker in there got all the power to the trailer still couldn't figure out what this mystery circuit is but so far that is all for trailer electrical at the moment I'll see you on the next one where we're working on plumbing. Peace.